Look, look at this. Look at this. What is this? Look at that thing. Well, after getting tons of requests over the past few years, it's finally here. DIY floating candles from Harry Potter. Okay, nobody actually requested this build, but I did have a chance to help out decorating at a local library for their Harry Potter party. And I wanted to share these quick effects, Harry Potter floating candles. Float. There are a lot of great DIY tutorial videos showing how to make these floating candles, and most of them require these cardboard tubes and paint, and they take a lot of time to build. And if you're like me, you like things to be done quick, specifically because you waited till the very last minute and you have about an hour to make all this stuff. So here's how you build these, and they take about two minutes a piece, and there's no paint required, and you'll have these things hanging up, floating in no time. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make two versions, one using paper towels and one using just a regular sheet of paper. Okay, you could have already had a couple built by now. Let's get into this. Here's what you're gonna need. Some LED tea lights. These are from the dollar store and you get two in a pack. Some paper or paper towels. These paper towels are the type that rip in small halves. Scissors. You're gonna need tape. I can only find this packaging tape. Hot glue and some thread or string. I can only find this black string. It's a little thick, but it should work fine. Let's start with the paper towel version. Like I said, I'm using the towels that rip in small halves. They're perfectly sized. Wrap the paper around the candle and see how it's gonna fit. You'll see that it's gonna overlay a little bit. You can either use tape or glue for this part. You don't need that much hot glue, so just dap a little bit around to hold it in place. And you can use tape here if you'd like, but it might not stick as well to the paper towel. When the bottom's secure, do the same to the top candle. After the top is set up, you can put a few drops just to connect the sides there and you're all done. Because these will be hanging from the ceiling, you don't need to put too much time into gluing every little seam to make it perfect. It'll be dark in the room and the effect will still look great. But it's up to you how much time you wanna spend on each one of these. Also, you can experiment with hot glue and add a melted wax look on the top here. I noticed that it was really hard to see the effect in the dark and it didn't seem to add much for all the effort it took. But feel free to try it if you want. Be careful, hot glue's hot. The paper towel version gives you a great texture effect for the candle. To turn on that top candle, you can just fold the paper towel over and click the switch through the soft paper. The paper towel version is a little flimsy when you're handling it, but when it's hanging from the ceiling, it'll look like a solid candle. For the paper version, you'll wanna roll the paper into a tube so it's easier to work with. Size it around the bottom candle and cut it to size with just a little overhang. You could measure this final size and cut all your sheets of paper to the exact size. This might save you some time if you're making a lot of these. Because the paper is smoother and thinner than the paper towel, tape works best for attaching everything on this version. That matte scotch tape that you use to wrap gifts would look the best compared to this shiny tape that you see right here. Either way, you get the idea. You're gonna tape it all together. As a side note, I tried cutting away some of the rubber on the top of the candle here just to see if the LED would be a little brighter, but I didn't notice a difference, so that's not a step you really need to worry about. But you can test it out, see if it works for you. All right, attach the tape to the part of the paper and wrap the paper around the candle. Secure the paper once everything's in place and then do the same to the top. You can wrap tape around the top the same way as you did the bottom or you can just tape a little bit over the top here like this. The top candle is gonna be supporting the hanging candle so just be sure everything's secure. If you wanna get a little creative, you can cut each candle to different lengths so they're a little taller and some are shorter and that'll give you some variety as these candles are hanging. To access the top of the candle switch, just pull back the paper just a little bit and you'll see the little switch in there and then you can fold it back and tape it. And that's it. Let's float this boat. In other tutorials, I noticed that the fishing line is really reflective and it takes away from the look. So a black thread or a dark string, I think works the best. You wanna tie that around the top candle and depending on how your ceiling's set up, you might have to get a little creative on how you're gonna mount this. For my situation in a business location, there was a drop ceiling, so we just tied all the candles to the metal rods across the ceiling. If you have a standard ceiling in a house, let's say, you could just string a line across from wall to wall and then just hang each of the candles from that string, kind of like this. So there you go, quick effects floating candles. Now these candles can be used for the Harry Potter decorations, but because they look pretty real and they have a cool look, you could use them for just about any kind of decoration, Halloween or a movie prop. Get creative, these things could be used for just about anything. So you might be wondering why we put candles in the bottom of the tube. I know in real life when candles are floating above you in a dining hall and you're eating dinner with your schoolmates, that light should only be coming from the top of the candle where the wick's burning. 
Well, this is a great example of making something look a little less realistic so it can actually look really cool in person or on camera. Remember, this is a party decoration, so adding the candle to the bottom gives the prop a little bit more of a candle effect and it lights up the whole candlestick. If you don't like the way this looks, you can skip this part and just put the candle at the top. For me, I tried that version. I didn't like how dark it was. But it's totally up to you how you want to make yours. Make one of each and see which one you like better. If you're making these candles for a Harry Potter party and you need some other decoration ideas, check out the link in the description of this video. I have a template to a Hogwarts letter that is designed to just print out and fold in half and it looks like a front and back letter. This will save you a lot of time if you have to make up a whole bunch of these if you want to set up an effect sort of like this one right here. For those of you that are still watching, I made another Harry Potter tutorial showing how I made this Dumbledore costume with just hot glue, safety pins, and some tinsel. It's not the greatest costume, but I needed something quick and it's quick effects, so. Extra videos like this will be available to my Patreon patrons in the future, so check out this video while you can and see if it's something you like. And if you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon and get access to more videos like this and other cool stuff in the future. Quick effects, floating candles. If you've never made anything before, these might be a great way to get into trying out, making some little props. Let me know if you like this build, and if you have one of your own, share it on the Quick Effects Facebook page. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more cool builds, and if you have any requests of your own, leave them in the comments below. I really look forward to hearing what stuff you'd like to see or what stuff you've built. That's all for now. Knop Top, go make something. One does not simply walk into Mordor.